Hey guitar enthusiasts, Lauren Bateman here. In this guitar lesson, we're gonna be going over a simple way to play along with a 12 bar blues. I'm gonna show you a really cool trick here. Let's get into the lesson. So the great thing about 12 bar blues is that it is a repetitive pattern that gets played over and over again. So I'm gonna show you a little shape that you can move around all over the guitar and play along with pretty much almost any blues song that's you know in this type of rhythm. So I'm gonna break this lesson up into three parts, which is first, we're gonna talk briefly about what a 12 bar blues is. Second, I'm gonna show you what this little pattern is and how we play it. And I'm also gonna show you a little turnaround that you can add in for a little bit of extra spice. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you how you can apply this to different songs depending on which key you're in. So briefly, let's just go over 12 bar blues. It's a pattern that repeats itself. So it's 12 bars, meaning it's 12 measures of music. And when you start at the beginning and then you get to the end, you just go back to the beginning. And what we're gonna be doing in this example, I'm gonna be showing you in the key of A, but I will show you how to play it in other keys as well. Now the key of A is just a family of chords that go well together. In blues, that's gonna be the A chord, the D chord, and the E chord. And often those are referred to as the one, four, and five chord, okay? The A is the one chord because it makes it sound like we're done, like we're going home. All right, so the first four measures are gonna be played over that A chord, okay? So we'll have four measures of A. Then we're gonna to move to the four chord for two measures, so we'd be playing over a D chord. Then we're gonna go back to the A chord for two measures. Then we would go to the five chord, which is gonna be our E, okay? And then we're gonna go back to D, and then you would end on the A chord for two measures, or we can do a turnaround. I'm gonna show you how to do it both ways. Now, why is this important that we know what chords we're playing over? Because when I show you this little shape in a moment, we're gonna be lining it up with the note. So our first finger, that first note we're gonna play, if we're playing over an A chord, is going to be an A note, okay? The right below that, so that was the fifth fret on the top string, right below that, the fifth fret on the A string, that is a D note. And if you move up to the seventh fret on the A string, that's going to be our E string. So you can see why it's important to know what chords we're using because we wanna line this riff up correctly. So fifth fret on the top string is A, fifth fret on the A string is D, slide it up two frets, we have the E on the A string. Okay, so that's at the seventh fret. So let me show you this little shape we're gonna be using and we're gonna be doing a shuffle rhythm. Okay, a shuffle rhythm is one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. So if I played it on the guitar, just this one note, it would sound like this. So you hear there's like a long, short, long, short, long, short, long, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Okay, so this little lick is gonna sound like this. that shuffle pattern. Okay, so we're just gonna be playing that little shuffle pattern. So let me show you what I did with this, this little shape here. So we're starting on the fifth fret, okay, that A string, and we're doing two picks, okay? Two pick patterns. And I'm gonna use alternate picking, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we've got, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from five, we're gonna come down two strings on the seventh fret. This is actually our octave. So they're both A notes. Just a little fun fact for you guys to know. They're both A notes. So it's gonna be five, five, seven, seven, okay? Okay, and then we're gonna take the first finger, we're gonna come back to the five again on that D string. Okay, so so far we've got Five, five, seven, seven, five, five. And then we're gonna come back up to the A string on the seventh fret. Okay, and we're gonna do that again twice. So it's five, five, seven, seven, five, five, seven, seven. Now if we put the shuffle pattern, here's what it's gonna sound like.
So you can kind of hear that shuffle. So we're going to do that pattern four times because remember I said we're going to play an A chord four times. So you're going to do this pattern one, two, three, four. Okay. What's next? Remember, if we go back to what I told you about 12 bar blues, the next chord in the pattern is going to be a D chord. If someone else is playing the guitar, it'll be a D chord. So we're going to come to that D note. We're going to take this pattern. We're going to do the same thing, except we're starting on the fifth fret on the A string. So it's going to be five, five. We're going to go to the seventh fret on the G string. Okay. So we're moving up two frets, down two strings. Okay, same string, five, five, and then up one string back to seven. Okay, so it's. So you would play that twice. So we said we're gonna go back to the A chord twice, right? So we're gonna hop back up to that fifth fret on the top string. And play that twice, all right? So we did pattern number one over A, we did that four times. Then we moved down the pattern to a D note and we played it twice and then we brought it back up to the A. All right, so the last four measures is where the most movement happens in 12 bar blues. So we're gonna be moving to the five chord, okay? So this is the E note. So we're coming up to the seventh fret on the A string, okay? And we're gonna do the same pattern. It's just this, it's one pattern. We're just moving it to where we need it to go to line up with the chords, okay? So we're starting on an E note because we're playing over an E chord and it's gonna be seven, seven, up two frets, down two strings would be the ninth fret on the G string, seven twice, up one string to nine, Okay, so we're just gonna do this once here. Now we're gonna come back to D, play that once. And then back to A. You play that twice, and guess what? We just went through the entire 12 bars, which means we would go back to the beginning. So let me play through so you guys can hear it on all 12 bars. A two, a three, a four, M. So here's the cool little turnaround, what it's gonna sound like. Okay, just a cool little line that leads us back into. So how are we gonna do that? Well, on the end of the 12 bar blues, those last two measures where we would usually play over the A chord, we're gonna erase those and we're gonna put this little, this little um, turnaround in here. So it's gonna sound like this. We're gonna start on that A, A note, fifth fret, right? And we're gonna go five, five, and then we're gonna chromatically, chromatically means you hit all of the notes, all right? Not playing a scale, we're just going up one note at a time. We're starting on the A string, fourth fret, twice, fifth fret, twice, sixth fret, twice, and then the seventh fret, we're gonna play four times. Okay, you could do it four times, you could do it three times, it'll have the same effect, but it's gonna be five, five, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, dum. You could also go. Okay, kind of did like a little staccato thing where I took my finger off the string and I muted it and then held the note. Kind of like that one, but the, the one I'm showing you here is bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba. Okay, so you can do three notes or four notes, whichever one you like better. Uh, I think four notes is gonna be on the, on the tab there. But now when you're coming out of, the, from the five chord, that E to D, now you're gonna go. 
and then start the whole thing again. So you don't have to do that every time, but you can do it maybe every other time just to change things up and give you a way to get back into the beginning of this progression without always just having to do that little shape that I taught you. Okay, so that, that's what we call turnaround. So that is one option for you guys to get back to the beginning. All right, Lauren, great. You showed me how to do this in one key. How do I do it in any key? Well, the key, haha, <laughs> get it? I know, sorry. The key to this is knowing the notes on the top string of the guitar. So if you saw there was a pattern to what we were doing, I showed you the pattern what, that we were playing, but there was also a pattern to the notes. So let's say we're gonna play in the key of G. You don't even, Lauren, I don't know what the key of G is. You don't even have to know what the key of G is. If you just know where the G note is on the top string, that's the third fret on your guitar, Did you hear that? All I'm doing is I'm starting on what we call the root note, the home note, okay, G. I'm gonna play that pattern four times. Then I'm going to move down one string, okay? That is going to be our four chord. You don't even need to know that this is a C note. You just need to know that you're gonna move your finger down one. So G, down one string, play your shape, and then come back up to the G. Okay, and then the five is right here. It's this, it's this D note. You don't need to know that that's a D note. All you need to know is that it is up two frets and down one string from that root note. So the one is the top string. Right below it is our four. And then up two frets is our five. Lauren, I wanna play in the key of B, great. Find the B note on the top string, which is gonna be the seventh fret of the guitar. And then you got your five up here. Okay, um, Lauren, I'm gonna play it in E. You could play it, you could play it open. It's a little bit different, or you could play it up here at the 12th fret. guys can see this it's just a pattern and you literally can play in every single key because on these top string this top string is every note of the musical alphabet okay we have open string E or the 12th fret here is E then we have F second fret F sharp third fret G fourth fret G sharp A A sharp B at the seventh fret C C sharp D D sharp and then E at the octave. So you don't have to know a lot of music theory to be able to apply this. You just need to know the first chord. If someone says, what are you playing? Well, I'm playing a 12 bar blues in G. Perfect, third fret, let's go, okay? I'm playing 12 bar blues in A, great. Fifth fret, I know where I'm going, okay? And that's why, and the, the walk downs, the turnarounds will be the same. Turnarounds will work just as fine too, okay? So that's why, the only one is the caveat here is if you play an F, you have to use an open string, um, but that's okay. In most of it, it's gonna apply pretty much the same. It's all patterns, and now you have the ability to play over a 12 bar blues, no matter what key you're in, and have a lot of fun with it. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. YouTube's gonna pop up a couple more videos over there, Go check those out and hope to see you in a lesson real soon.